involved in the uh, Apache youth meeting, youth communities, which means I uh, try to promote the uh, Apache projects to uh, some clients uh, in, in China. So what is uh, open meetings? Probably uh, some of you already heard it before, right? It is uh, open source and conference tool, just like uh, Zoom, like uh, uh, Team, like uh, WebEx or Tencent Meeting anyway. But uh, only Apache open meetings is uh, fully open source and the web browse. And also it uh, support mobile. So uh, here are some screenshots I took from the uh, platform because I don't want to waste your time to just get logged in to show all this stuff. So uh, what is the role of uh, based access control mechanism with uh, MS AD directory and the patch open meetings? Uh, I do this configuration despite the following uh, features. Uh, uh, for the host machine, I use the Women Well Workstation 16 Pro installed on Windows 11 and uh, I used the two watch machines. This is a uh, trivial of my uh, AD direct, uh, configuration. You can see on the top is forest and below that is uh, your domain name. In your configuration, you should change the domain name uh, to, your, uh, to your domain. And you can see on the top of the uh, tree, there is uh, organization unit, the CS underscore security, which is my uh, organization unit in, uh, in the server. There are some uh, entries. Uh, on the right side, you can see some basic uh, uh, concepts. First one is distinguished name, and the second one is uh, domain component, and the third one is uh, organization unit, and the last one is common name. Uh, those concepts uh, we need uh, know it, and because in your configuration file, uh, you need to uh, put on all these uh, connected string. Otherwise, uh, the integration uh, process uh, will be painful. So, uh, oh, sorry, it's not very clear. So this is my uh, topology. You can see uh, there is a uh, Linux machine as client, and uh, I uh, do a net configuration. There are uh, several servers. The first one is uh, AD server, and the second one is the uh, Linux client, which I will use to log into the uh, AD domain. And the third one is a uh, machine I installed open that server, and the last one is the uh, client the machine that which will be logged into the uh, Open LDAP server, use the LDAP server credentials, and also I install open meetings. You can see there is a net, I do some uh, reverse uh, proxies. Then uh, here comes the configuration file. Actually, pretty simple, just pay attention to the uh, connection host, IP address, port, and uh, for the LDAP admin domain, you need to pay attention to the uh, whatever check you are, MSAD configuration, make uh, everything all right. And here, uh, this is your uh, administrative password, your search base, just uh, uh, for in the tree view. And uh, for the uh, LDAP search query, there were two kinds of query. Uh, probably uh, some guys already know for the AD, the most popular uh, search query is uh, same account, same account. We use a C stair stream as the connection, as the search query, as the search query stream. And uh, also, you can use a user principal name. But uh, for the second one, you need either the domain name as the post fix. And uh, for the search code, use a supper tree. Uh, for the LDAP also tab, for MSAD, we can only use uh, search and band. There is another band method, which uh, is a simple band, but uh, I, I don't know why. Uh, probably they, they cannot work just in AD, but for LDAP server, it's okay. It works. So uh, you put the user di distinction name for Medicare, see user principal name, right? Uh, the system stream and uh, OU organization unit and the DC, blah, 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 something like this. Then uh, for LDAP, uh, open LDAP server and uh, integration with uh, Apache meetings, a little bit different with uh, MSAD. So this uh, configuration uh, in my, uh, my machines. 
uh, use uh, uh, since 7.9 uh, in the server sub side and the client side. Config for the configuration file, uh, most uh, content keep the same, but uh, for example, for the adapt admin uh, distinction name, now you need to change according to the configuration of you are uh, uh, open adapt server. And for the search query, uh, from here we, we do not need the uh, user principal or same account. We use uh, UID equal as the string. For the LDAP search type, we can now we can uh, use either simple bind or uh, user principal name uh, or search band. LDAP use a distinction name format, uh, just uh, check your LDAP server, find the distinction name of your administrator. So uh, here comes the log file. Every time, uh, even though when in the integration process, every time, even though we uh, we we we're pretty sure everything in the Capri English files uh, in the environment, we did uh, uh, everything correct, but actually in the process we still get some errors. So how to handle it? Then we need to check the uh, log file. Uh, fortunately, uh, developers, they uh, have a certain kind of uh, mechanism, so you can just open the log file to find anything wrong. For example, there is an error, error. you can see uh, what's the error message, right? The configuration data couldn't be retrieved. So uh, follow the screw, you uh, try to find uh, what you want. And uh, for the for the last one, you can see uh, when you see this message, you will see this is the bind successfully, which means you are programming already uh, uh, talked to your uh, type servers. So uh, here's come some code. Uh, every time when you uh, click the login uh, button, uh, your system will call the ATAP login management uh, class and uh, first your class will call the ma login method, then call the method in the user DAO class dot valid login to check if the user input a valid login in, well, valid login name. If not, then just the uh, program will start. If uh, yes, uh, keep going. Uh, we'll try uh, call LDAP work to uh, build a constructor which will uh, initialize some values. Then you use your login in password and the domain ID uh, as the parameters to uh, log in to your as parameters as, uh, as the do login method. So uh, for the user DAO class, uh, the important uh, method is the first one. Uh, valid check if the method valid login if your login is method, which means if you enter empty log name or your login name is not. Uh, cannot meet the requirement of the system, then you'll get a message. And for the next one, get value green, which means uh, uh, the method will help you to get values input in the in the uh, text box, then uh, fill in the field, right? Then keep going. Okay, that's for do login. Do login, which means uh, if you, uh, everything's correct, then We'll call the uh, switch statement. Check if you use search band or, or simple, simple band method in your LDAP author method. Okay, actually, uh, after now, uh, you can see the configuration is done. Uh, pretty simple, right? Then, uh, how to join it? Some machine to MSID. Not too complicated. Uh, only a few steps. First, you ensure your Linux server. Oh, jump here. Oh, excuse me. Skip. Okay. Ensure your Linux server knows how to find the domain control where DNS. So uh, you just, uh, for in my uh, environment, just uh, pretty simple. Just uh, vi host uh, uh, add the host name. Then uh, you you need to install packages and run it. The important thing is you need to install SSHD and the RIMD. Then use the uh, following such commands. Uh, you'll find if everything is correct, which means your user already joined it. Uh, 
you are needing some machine client already joining the main AD. Then how to join a uh, Linux client uh, with LDAP credentials? Almost the same uh, logic. First, you need to install packages and install uh, NSL CD, SSD, uh, such kind of DB, and uh, you install open LDAP clients and do some configurations here. Then you use just get into the password to uh, make sure uh, you get your credentials from the LDAP servers. Then make sure you restart your SSD domain and uh, enable it. So uh, generally, that's my uh, slides. And uh, uh, still have some time. Would like to show, uh, give you a demo. So uh, this demo of uh, how to integrate uh, Apache Open Meetings with uh, Apache, with I mean say AD Server. Oh, okay. I, I, I just uh, say when you're logging, uh, use your admin password to log in the system, and uh, you will need to click the administrator. Okay, and then you uh, click the adapt connection. You will see uh, there is a home page, uh, there is a web page to check uh, uh, if you already got some configuration files. Here I already did some configuration. So I'm going to delete and to add them again. So everything changed here will immediately to take effect in the system. You do not need to uh, restart your server. Do not in the uh, restart your database. Okay, so the video didn't uh, work well. Well, sorry, and uh, then I managed to do the configuration. Okay, thanks. Thanks for your patience. Uh, close the video and bring the terminal out. Let's close the video and I will use the terminal to type some uh, some commands. OK, 
Okay. Uh, actually, we need to find the in this demo. I Lost uh, connection. Because uh, this is a very old uh, Linux machine, so yeah, it works. <laughs> how, how, how many minutes do I have? Five minutes. Okay, uh, let's keep going. See, I got some configuration files here. Uh, first, two of them, uh, which will be used for the AD uh, configuration, but I'm going to use uh, uh, the third and the fourth one, which will be uh, used for the integration with uh, Tab Server. So, first, you need to make sure uh, you are uh, client is connected to the L Tab Server. I use LDAP search command. I believe uh, most of you. Uh, Saw this command before, right? I have a search uh, dash x, which is a simple band, and uh, dash h followed by the host name is uh, localhost, and uh, followed by the search base. Here I use uh, dc equal local host, dc equal local domain as my search base. And uh, dash capital D followed by the distinct name of your uh, administrator, which is uh, CN equal LDAP admin DC equal local host DC equal local domain and dash uh, capital W. Then LDAP uh, search. Oh, wrong command LDAP. Uh, that's it. Next one, uh, tap search command, then password. See, uh, return uh, the output, which means you are your client machine already talked to the app server. Now you can do the integration. Okay, I use uh, admin account to log system here. Uh, you can see there are drop down one, two, three, four, uh, four domains, right? And I'm going to do the all of them. Okay. 
Oops. Admin time, uh, I want to show you how to use uh, machine to log into Nix machine. For example, uh, this machine is a localhost, right? Uh, we can see etc password grab YMO. You can see there is no result, right? Or another username. No result, which means in your system, uh, there is no such kind of user, but I can use the username to log in system, uh, which means I use the credential in AOTAP server. So SSH, YMO, at localhost. Oops. Okay, oh, I see. I need to run the NSLCD command and uh, do the login again. Then, yeah, logged in, right? So, as now as you are Linux client uh, connected to the LDAP server, you can log in from any client, even from a Windows shell. So let's see what's the login. Okay, for the ADAPT connection, just go to LDAP. Run it very slowly. Okay, see, there are some configuration files. Each one are uh, corresponded to the domain ID in the Dropbox, and I'm going to delete all of them. Then, uh, okay, I'm uh, going to add the configuration very quickly. For example, first one, I used the uh, uh, simple one, simple one, and uh, configuration file is uh, OMN. Oh, forgot the name here. Hold on. So, ADOML DAP. A T O M of that config. Okay, then save it. Anything change here will take uh, effect immediately. And uh, I'll add, add another one, which means I use the search man in a depth server. Search. Mm -hmm. Search one and the enable for the configuration file. I use the second one OML that simple. Oh, 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 first one is not correct. Oh, two minutes. Okay, OM finish now. Okay, time is up. Sorry about this. Because you know, uh, lost the connection for a while. Let me do this one. Just the, uh, very quickly. Do it again. Okay. Give me 10 seconds. Okay. So here you see, got two domains, right? 
uh, use the single one search in the use name, for example, this one, and sign in. Unfortunately, something bad just happened. <laughs> okay, so I need to check no fire, but unfortunately, no time today. Sorry about this. So that's uh, finished my talk. All right. Uh, All right. Yep. Thank you very much.